Hello and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to synchronize data from Google Sheets to Airtable, focusing on creating and maintaining linked records. You'll learn to map Google Sheets columns to Airtable fields, including how to handle linked records and set up automatic updates to keep your Airtable base in sync with any changes in your Google Sheets document. So in order to begin, we need to prepare our Google Sheets for sync. You can skip this section if you already have a Google Sheets set up with multiple sheets of linked data. So we have have multiple sheets here, these tabs, sneakers and brands, and we want to map these to multiple tables in our Airtable base. So each row under the brand column in the sneakers sheet references a row in the brands sheet, as you can see here. So we are using formula references to do this. So if you would like to find out more about this, we have a full length blog for this tutorial on our website at datafetcher.com and you can grab that link there to learn how to do that. This isn't necessary for this tutorial, you might just have rule values that match the rows in another sheet. Great, so we can now head over to our Airtable base and we're going to create two tables. So just up here where it says table one, we'll double click on that and retitle this as products. Select save, then select the add or import that plus button and select start from scratch, which we're going to title this as brands. Select save here. You don't need to create the linked fields in either table. Data Fetcher will do that for you when it syncs the linked records. So now we need to install our Data Fetcher extension. So up here in the extensions option, select that, then select add an extension. Now we want to search for the Data Fetcher extension just up here in the search bar and that will pop up. Select the add button and select add extension. The following will load and you can either create a free Data Fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. Now it's time to import our data. So select the big blue button create your first request and under application we're going to search for Google Sheets just like so. Now we will need to add a new authorization so select new Google Sheets connection and here we need to sign in to our Google account and give access to data fetcher. Select these two check boxes and select continue. Now we're going to rename this request. So we're going to title this as Fetch Synced Products. Then we're going to select Save and Continue in the bottom right hand corner. And now under Spreadsheet, we are going to select that spreadsheet that we have created. So here you might just need to search for it. I've got the products here. And then for the sheet, we're going to select Sneakers. Now we're going to scroll down and for the output table and view, we want for this to be the products in that first input box. And we want for the following to read as grid view. We want for this to be set to the Airtable table where you want to import the records into. Then we're going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner and select continue. Now the response field mapping window will open where you can set up how the data from Google Sheets is mapped to your Airtable base. This is where we can set up our linked records mapping. So for the brand field, we're going to change the field type by selecting this A symbol and we're changing this from single line text to link. Changing this field type to link will automatically open the field settings where we can change the linked table to the brands table. So just from this drop down menu, select brands, then select save. Perfect, so when we run the request, Data Fetcher will automatically create and update the linked records in Airtable based on the value in the Google Sheets brand column. The last thing we need to do is let Data Fetcher use the unique ID field to merge the records. So we want to click on this sidebar icon just here in the top left to open the settings sidebar. Now select advanced settings to open the advanced request settings. And for the update based on field, we want to select ID. Now it's time to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Data Fetcher will now sync the data from Google Sheets to Airtable, including the linked records. So here we can select show output table. And as you can see, when we arrive back to our Airtable base, that data has now synced from Google Sheets to Airtable, including the linked records. So you will only need to set up the response field mapping the first time you run the sync or when you want to make changes to the mapping. Now this is amazing, but we can actually automate our Google Sheets to Airtable syncs by using Using the data fetcher schedule feature. So this will run the request automatically updating the linked records even when you're not logged into Airtable or do not have data fetcher open. So in order to do this, we want to open up that extensions option again, and this will bring us back to that request that we have already created. Now, as you can see here, all of the settings that we have already inputted are still here. We're going to scroll down until we see this schedule option. Now you will only see this if you have already upgraded to a paid data fetcher account. So if you haven't yet done that, I really recommend that you do so that you can run all of your data fetcher requests automatically without you having to do a thing. So once you have upgraded to a paid data fetcher account, you can come back to the step and we're now going to select the authorize button. Select I understand, let's authorize. 
and now we want to give Data Fetcher access to our Airtable. So select the Add a Base option and select All Current and Future Bases in All Current and Future Workspaces, then select Grant Access. Now, as you can see, this Schedule this Request option has now turned on, and you can decide how often and on which days you would like for this request to automatically run. Select Save, and you can close this window over. So hopefully today you have learned how to sync Google Sheets to Airtable and how to make this run automatically and update the linked records on the schedule that you have selected. But if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com, where, like I mentioned before, we do have this full-length blog on this exact topic for you to learn that way as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.